Hello everyone, it's Cash here, back with another Roblox tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a health bar GUI. Now this involves tweeting, and it also involves uh, service scripts, and it's also going to resolve humanoids. So if you don't know how to do those, you're going to learn today. Let's do it. First of all, you want to create a new uh, thing in the workspace. Now whatever you're going to be using, go to plugins, or you can just press play. Now, what I was thinking about plugins is that you could load your character in and then you could just copy it or just keep it there. Now, the best way, just control X on your character. So control C or control X, or you can right click, copy, and you know. Uh, now, just paste, press control V. My character's in here, as you can see. Now we have this. Um, now you can either do it with an NPC or you cannot. Now, this script is going to work with either one. The reason we have an NPC is just to design the uh, GUI. So, create a new billboard GUI. Call this health bar GUI or whatever you want. Change the Adorni to the head of the player or whatever. Then change this to 1010 and always on top. Now you're going to see it's very small, but when you get away, it's not that small. Let's change this to 100 on the max distance. That way you can get over here and still see it. Or you can just play with this. When you walk close enough, you can see it. Uh, reset on spawn. Make sure this is off. And yeah, there we go. Because it's going to reset on spawn anyway, by the way. So that's why we have that off. And if it resets on spawn, sometimes there'll be issues with the scripts. Alrighty. So, now what we are going to do. Uh, change the Zindex behavior to global. And now, we don't want it to just be one stud. We want to go to the studs offset and change it to 1.5 so it's right above the head. Then go to the size and change this to about 5 and that's pretty big just go ahead now and create frame oh, yep, a frame call this background change this to whatever the damage color you want it to be and then change it to 1010 in the scale and if you don't know what scale is this is the just entire thing like this is everything divided by whatever now make sure the anchor point is the same anchor point because it's not going to fit all right and the anchor point is 0, point or 0, 0 by automatic and that's where you need it to be or if you still want to change it and you just want to be like that you can just go to the position of 0 0.5 0 0.5 but that's just extra time, and nobody wants to do that. Uh, change the index to 1, make sure it's 1. Now, the index is the order that it goes in, uh, and that's why we changed this to global. And also, sorry if I'm going too fast, everyone, because uh, I know a bunch of people can't keep up, so if you need me to go slower, just tell me, and in each video I'll go slower next time. But now you just want to copy this and paste it. Duplicate, right? Go to Zindex and change that to 2. And then you want to change the color to uh, your health bar color. So now you want to name this to health bar. Or health or whatever you want to name it. Just make sure it's not background. Then add a text label. Do the same thing with the size, 101010. Change this index to 3 this time. Border size pixel to 0. Border color, you don't have to do that. That's just my OCD. Background transparency, this is something you have to do. Put it at 1. Source sense bold, just customize the font how you want it. Then I'm going to change this to white. And then I'm going to do 100 out of 100. We have that. 
Now I'm going to call this health display. And we're almost done. Just create a new script. And yeah, we're just going to put this under it. So, mm, yeah, this will be easier if we just put it under it. We're going to call this manage. Now, I always call my scripts manage. You might have them called something else. So, just do what you want, really. Go here. And we're going to define a couple variables. Care. Or, not care. We're going to do GUI equals script.parent. Car equals GUI.parent. And then humanoid equals car find first child humanoid. Now we're going to define all this in here. So now we don't need the background, we just need health bar A equals to GUR dot health bar and then health display equals gui dot health display and just change that to a capital B now we're going to do function update display and we're going to do health bar or health display my bad dot text equals to humanoid dot health dot dot now when you put dot dot this means you're concatenating strings so humanoid dot health uh, dot dot and we have a slash so it would print out if we it was in the console uh, I'll show you right now we do print and then we did uh, whatever so we'll say three dot dot hi dot dot Five, and then we do. Uh, it says malform number. Now the reason it says this is because you need a space when doing numbers. And make sure you have a end. It says three high five. Cool. So that's what concatenating strings does. If you didn't know. All right. Now we're just going to do humanoid dot max health. So humanoid dot health dot dot this. Make sure you add another period period or dot dot. You can add spaces just to be more organized. Now we're going to do health bar. Then we're going to do tween size. Now this is going to tween it instead of just snapping it to whatever the health is, which makes it look so much better. Do uh, udem two dot new udem is just the uh, UI basically, and D is I don't know, but it just basically tweens it. That's all it does really. You don't have to worry about all the fancy language and coding. All you have to do is know what it knows or knows know what it does. That's all you gotta know. So then you're gonna do humanoid dot health divided by humanoid dot max health dot dot or not dot dot we're not doing that we're gonna do comma zero one zero so this gets the math for it so we're dividing the humanoid health by the max health so the way we do that this max health is equal to a hundred in the humanoid and the health of the humanoid would be like 90 or something divided by that equals to 0.9. So it just fixes up the UI for us. And uh, yeah, we have the text and everything. Now, if this, if they were regenerating, it would be something like uh, it wouldn't be rounded. So we could do math dot floor humanoid.health and then we do update display and then humanoid.health changed connect 
I've did this way. All right, so now we have this all done. If we can close out of this and expect zero errors. Now, oh wait, one last thing. We're not done just yet, sadly. We're gonna do GUI dot Adorni equals to par find first child head. And now we're done. You can press Control X now and put this into your starter character scripts. And then delete this guy if you want. Now I have a kill part right here, which does damage to you. Uh, to make this, you just basically just do hit that parent, take damage. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, it's going to come when I put this in the toolbox for you guys. So just look at that, it will come with it. Um, yeah. But if you have a sword or something that you can stab yourself with, go ahead. Uh, you know, whatever you want to do. So now we're in here. As you can see, we have the health health bar very nice looking we hit this and we have that math.floor just rounds it so now it's not like the weird number that we would see and as you can see we regenerate it we just keep hitting it and we hurt ourselves and we love it I'm kidding but as you can see the health is like should be 63 whatever but now it's just 65 because we did math.floor. Uh, math is very useful, but it sucks to learn. I hate learning math. It's so boring. Um, but, you know, and then we could die too if we wanted to. Which we shouldn't really because nobody wants to die. Uh, but we died anyways. So, yeah. Cool. Um, after you die, you respawn with it. Really cool. I'm going to literally just copy this, save to Roblox, and I already published this because uh, I was trying to make a video, the recording didn't save, so I just made you guys it again. And if you want this kill part too, I'm going to link this in a paste down below, and then just put it in a part. Uh, but yeah. Have a good day, guys. See you later.